That go me. Yep. Oh, yeah, man. Oh. Hi. You, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you have like a Yep. Nej men hej! Hej, this was not yesterday. Hang, how are you doing? Very well. Very well. Yeah, oh, and very look, well. look at this. 39 million views on that tent. <laughs> wow. You're gonna sleep up there tonight? 100%. I'm getting all of that for myself? Yeah, you do. Sweet. <laughs> Today's mission is not only surviving in the wilderness, but also <laughs> doing a little bit of FPV. Yeah. So, I brought the tent so that we can take this line straight through and then just get a good shot of us coming in from this side and then whoo, out above the lake. I honestly have no idea how we're gonna be able to pull this off, but if the simulator has done any sort of practice, then this is gonna be the time where it will show. <laughs> I have good faith. Twenty nine thousand subscribers. When you were first time that you were in the studio, I think you had like a thousand or something. Yeah, something like that. Between a thousand and two thousand. <laughs> Meet Ulle Nilsson. Hi. One hundred eighty six thousand followers on Instagram. One point seven million followers on TikTok. That is a lot. Welcome to the studio. Thank you. I know that we can give him the push that he needs to get to thirty thousand subscribers. Am I right? I hope I'll see you there. Oh, and by the way, I crashed hard with Avada in a tree. I Yesterday we got a lot of practice on doing a nice flight for the FPV run that we want to have. And I think we have everything planned down. What do you think, Ole? Are we gonna be able to pull this off? Definitely. <laughs> this is gonna be a fun one. Hard, but fun. I'm gonna do a 10% angle, I think, on the camera, then fly as close to the ground as I possibly can. Hopefully, we're gonna be able to nail everything in one take. And not end up in the lake. <laughs> That's the worst part. I'm gonna show you. I crashed hard. What do you feel about FPV? I absolutely love it. I actually started this winter to practice in the simulator. Uh, That's the good way to start, right? Yeah, definitely. Be like before you even buy in a drone, do your simulator hours. And you will find it very, very amusing. Is that a word? But uh, <laughs> it's very fun. And yeah. you can even play it with friends like online and stuff. And, For sure. And make it like a, like a video game. I, I, I think that most people that want to get into FPV should buy the controller first and then 
buy an FPV yeah, drone. Totally, totally agree. Yeah. However, the DJI Avada is perfect as a like starter FPV drone because you don't have to start in manual mode. Yeah. Uh, how, how many times have you crashed today? Three. <laughs> <laughs> and it still looks uh, completely new. Yeah. As I've said, like if you watched any of my previous videos, the DJI Avada is very, very durable. It can handle a beating for sure. I think I managed to break one prop today. Luckily enough, this man had a reserve. <laughs> <laughs> I have a five inch like self-built drone. The thing is with that one, you have to start in manual mode and kind of vroom, throw up the drone and then you have to land the same way and disarm the, the props in a like half a meter up or something. That is tricky when you are a beginner. I'm more of a like, I just want things to work. Yeah. You know? Then a self-built is not for you. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is a hassle to get to work. If you lose transmission in, the, in flight, you are gone. The drone is Oof. crashing. <laughs> I got a feeling that I'm going to stay with that auto for a long yeah. time. What you're about to see is the one shot that I have practiced together with this man in manual mode with yeah. the DJI Avata. <laughs> Come here. Yep. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, Hi. You, you did it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm like a, Yep. That felt good. It was it was extremely scary, <laughs> but it also felt very good. Ole, thank you. Thank you. Way to go on the flying, though. Thanks. And it looked too. amazing. I've never seen you in real life flying <laughs> these. I only seen these simulators. It's like I had to do this line because yeah. otherwise people would be like, "Ah, he can only do this in the simulator." <laughs> One of the things that I did not know with Avada is that you can you can actually broadcast your own view to a second pair of goggles. So yeah. Ulle was watching me fly the line with the Avada in real time. It was sick. Yeah, that was actually. Pretty amazing, right? Makes this whole like, experience much more fun. It's also a great way to practice together because then you can go out, you can take both of your drones, both of your goggles, and then one person can fly and then you can challenge each other and see, yeah. okay, who, who can make this happen? And then you don't have to fly each time to practice because you know the line that you're gonna fly. And you're like, oh, we wanna fly under this branch. Yeah. And you can say that in real time instead of like, going back and showing it. And That's so good. Yeah. That was yeah. amazing. High five. <laughs> 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 Feels good to be back in the studio. I had the absolute worst night you could ever imagine. I can talk about that in another video. But to sum this video up, if you want to start fly cinematic FPV, I highly recommend you to buy the FPV controller first and start to practice in the simulator, as Ulla said. That is what I did, that is what he did, and it works very well. Looking at some of the footage that we shot, one of the questions that I've seen a lot on my Instagram has been, how do you get it to look so smooth? First off, you gotta make sure that you are turning off the electronic stabilization in the Avata, and then you wanna make sure that you have the field of view set to wide. Because when you do that, you can actually extract the gyro data from the clips that you're shooting 
with the Avata. And then you can drag those clips into a program that is called Gyroflow, where you can adjust a bunch of different parameters to make sure that the footage comes out very smooth. And without this program, my clips wouldn't look as good as they do. So I highly recommend you try to use that whenever you want to get those smooth shots. Really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.